Hello, Groove Nation. David Lemon here for the Groove Lemonade number 40. I actually am super excited. There is, There has been a quite a lot of Groove Lemonades, if you ask me. There was a quite a lot of time spent with you guys, the Groovesters, answering questions. So uh, it's kind of a nice round number, that 40. So hello, everybody. My name is David Lemon. I'm the product experience manager inside Groove Digital, which is the company that built out this wonderful product, Groove. So uh, I come on here to answer users' questions, and that's basically what this banner is about. So welcome to our Q&A session. If you have any questions, please include a little Q in front so I can answer them for you. Uh, we have uh, a Q&A Basically, we have a comment section for this Q&A on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching from, and you can just put in your questions there. If you could, I would appreciate if you include a little Q uh, in front of it so that we can answer those questions for you. At this moment, uh, we are going to start with a couple of questions that were asked before we started the live stream, and those questions are happy appearing on on the facebook group and let me just show you where exactly um i'm going to share my screen now and we are loading in the facebook group here just right now actually let me just do something before we start i'm going to remove my name and i'm going to just open this here so that i have it prepared um Okay, just a second. We're there in a moment. Okay, lovely. So I opened up the, the Facebook group and I opened up something else I'm working on. I would just want to show you. I gave a sneak peek of it last time, but I am uh, I want to talk a little bit more about that. So this is the actual Facebook post that goes live. Uh, I ask people to to leave their uh, leave their questions in case they have anything uh, to to ask. And we have a couple of interesting questions on here that I will be happy to answer. So the first question that we can start with is from Pat Lorna Shanks. Uh, within Groove Pages, can you show us how to make Groove Pages the Groove Page button sexy? Absolutely, I can. So let's just see a border around a button color. Uh, around button corners, drop shadow, 3D look, also like the image below, see-through. Perfect. Absolutely, I can do that. So we are going to jump into Groove, and I'm going to show you a couple of different things uh, on how to do that. Once I answered these questions on the on the Facebook stream, uh, I'm sorry, on the Facebook comments that were asked before we um, we we went to the to the comments of this live stream. I'm going to talk a little bit about something else that uh, will be interesting for you guys. So let me just do a new page and start basically from scratch so you can see what we are working on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put in an empty container here. And in the middle of the screen, I'm going to pop up a nice little button so that I can show you what you can do with that button. OK, so I'm going to take the, the container, put in some positioning. So I position it in the center. And we can just increase this um, like that so that we can see the button in the smack middle of the screen. I'm going to increase the size a bit so you can better see it. And that's basically our button. Now we have this button and in order to make it sexy, uh, and we're also going to recreate what you what you have here. Oh, <laughs> so many uh, pop-ups. We're going to recreate this button. So this button has a white border, white test color, and is transparent. So let's just do that first. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to put the block in some sort of a darker blue color, something like that. Okay, so we have a blue background. We we have a dark gray background of the button itself and white text on the bottom. So how do we make it sexy? How do we make it a bit pill shaped, like um, like a, a bit elongated and also round borders and a colored border and things like that? So let's just click on the button and see what we have. We have background, 
let's just play with the background if we click on the background we can see here color we can click on the color and we can see this button for transparency or we can just remove the color from here so now what we have is still a button but it's just without the background sorry without the background just visible the text is visible on the button only so what we could do is we can add border so just one uh, tab below that is border so let's just add on borders the way you work with borders is you select a style so this is no borders this is um I'll zoom in a little here so this is without any kind of style this is uh just a straight line this is dashed border and this is dotted border we're going to show you all of those in a moment and this is to put border around the whole thing this is to put the top border this is to put only bottom border only left border and only right right border i'll just put uh, around everything so that we can play with that and then here you can choose the width Let's just play with two pixels. So as you can see immediately over here on the canvas, the, the border appeared. It's not very bright. So I'm going to put white so that we can see it. So there are there is our button right now with some with some border around it. And now we can see that it's it's kind of looking starting to look like something we could use. Um, the only thing we need to do is make the border rounded. So the way we do that is click on the button, go to the border section, and then here we can choose this roundness level. To make it round completely, we choose this 999 pixels. As you can see, it's already looking better right now. It's just a little bit too smushed together. So let's just let's just play with the spacing and let's just make it a bit more uh, padded inside so what we want to do is add some spacing between the text and the border itself and for that we clicked on the button and went to the spacing and adding some padding here within it so there we go so this is now our button it looks better it is sexier and it looks something like that so let's just type in the actual text that we have on that example members login we update it okay so the background uh came back let's just remove the background color for some reason it came back there we go we could also play with a border thickness a little bit and the way we do that is click on the border click on this one again and then increase it to three or four even there you go so now we have a sexy button that we can just click on and then we can configure as we want uh there were a couple of questions on here about some shading so border around the button we manage that round button corners we manage that uh, drop shadow we can talk about the drop shadow so it's basically clicking on the element scrolling down a little bit and here uh, you see shading on the bottom of the screen so here you have the box shadow or text shadow so let's just do the box shadow here versus large you can see now we added some shading it, it makes the button uh, pop out a little bit more on the screen we could also do some custom shading with uh, with the new feature that uh, that was added on. You can just go into custom and then set up some some custom shading. Let's just do a color of black and add on some some shading on here. Let's just see. Um, why is it not showing up? Uh, it is the inset so it is it is visible inside the button it makes it look like somebody pressed the button in inside as you can see here this moon shaped shadow um if we set the outset shadow then it will look like uh somebody has not yet pressed the button let's just do that one more time outset and there we go so let's just do this as well Let's just do a little bit of spread. Let's see. I cannot see the changes. We may need to zoom in. Um, I don't know if the inset uh, works when we have the, the button element. It it works mostly on containers. Let's just do the let's just see what the what the text shadow does. Okay, so it basically adds the shadow on the text inside the button. As you can see, you can also do custom text shadows. That's something that we added on recently using these options on here. 
So that's basically about the shadows. It's pretty funky that you can do all sorts of things or all sorts of things. And one more thing is that you could do a shadow, which is um I believe emboss. Yeah, emboss is the is the thing that puts shadow on the bottom of the button, and then it looks like that. Um, it looks better when the when the button is not rounded and without uh, without a border. Let me just remove the styling and maybe just top borders or something like that. Then then you can put these kind of uh, buttons on the on the top and let's just remove the all around border and let's just put this top button one pixel this one pixel and this one pixel and then create something like that you can create some funky buttons yourself but this is just the uh emboss shadow that we added on here um we can do inner shadow as well and yeah that's basically it so you can do all sorts of things you have the the free will and you can just create all sorts of different uh different kind of layouts any kind of button that you see online it can be created in groove uh, groove pages and that's very very cool um okay rob has a question uh, john benson talks about the magic buy button you watch a certain amount of the vsl and the buy button and text and graphics show up after you reach a certain point is there a way to do that in groove yes there is so uh let me just remove this block and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So usually that's done with call to action buttons. I'm going to make this section disappear. Uh, let's do a magic show today. So let's just do let's just do another section, which I'm going to maybe put in this one, and something else that has a, a video on it, just so that we can kind of see headers this will work i'm going to put on this video or a video inside this section over here and that's coming in here so we have created now a page that looks like this so this is our vsl this is our video and if you scroll down, you can see these call to actions. So we're going to make it uh, that only the page shows up only this this shows this first block only until a certain point. Then the next section will show up, and then the next section will show up afterwards. So that's done through the option that we call a delay inside Groove Pages. When you click on a block, you can see that there is an option called delay and delay shows up on any element so if you want to delay a button you can delay that over here if you want to delay a countdown timer or this or this you have the delay showing up always inside the right hand sidebar so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delay this full-on section this blue section with a green yes save me a spot button so i'm just going to click on this block click on delay and let's just delay it with five seconds okay Let's just delay this white um, section with a blue text and blue button. Let's just delay this for with, um, I don't know, 10 seconds. Okay. So now that we added this on, it's saving the changes. So there's nothing to update. There's nothing to press. We're saving immediately these changes that you that you do on the on these settings whenever you add a delay or something like that. And let's just do quickly a uh, publish on here. After we publish, we can test it out. We actually count till five together. We should see the blue uh, part show up and we'll count till 10 and we should see the, the next section, the white background section show up. So let's just see when we publish the site. I have a couple of uh, pages and quite a load of, uh, load of funnels on here. So I should have just published this single page, but the damage has been already done. So let's just wait it out a little bit. Uh, let me just see the next question that shows in. But yeah, Rob, that's done with the delay option. We'll test it out in a second. 
Mar Marcel is asking, how can we edit the device view of a checkout form? Uh, checkout forms, if you didn't design them yourself in Groove Pages, they cannot be modified. There is no design for a checkout form at this moment. We'll be having more layout options for uh, for all sorts of uh, different scenarios, if you're selling software, in case you're selling something else, uh, we'll have layouts in Groove Cell, but we'll not have a, a drag and drop editor for the checkout form. Other platforms do that sort of thing, but we we kind of think that uh, pre-made checkout forms are easier and better to manage if you want to get started selling quickly. Okay, so let's see if we already have this page published. We should have. Okay. Let's just see what we need to do in here. Let's just reload. Okay, I'm going to start a new site because I made a lot of different tests on this one page or on one site, and that may be the cause to our slowness and also to uh to the whole not showing up when published thing so let's just do a header that we had here like that and we also added some call to actions which is over here we added on a white one at the bottom here and we added on the blue one with the green Let's just leave it in here and then we'll move it up. There we go. Okay, now we just need a video. Okay, and then we delay this section by five seconds and then the other one with 10 seconds. Save. Let me publish this one quickly to delay test. Publish. It should be much faster than the previous one. On the other one, I think I have 20 full funnels and 11 different pages with extra coding on there. And it, it took a bit of time to show up. Let's just see this. OK, so now I cannot scroll up or down any longer. So there we go. So we've waited five seconds for three, two, ah, uh, there we go. So it was basically I was talking. <laughs> so what you saw is I was scrolling up and down and this section was the only one happening or only one visible. Then after five seconds, this showed up and then after five, uh, five more seconds, this showed up. So whenever you're adding in delays, the thing that you need to manage is five seconds, uh, five seconds takes this and then five more seconds take this, this 10, okay? So, um, let's just say that we reveal this one in five seconds delay and then 10 seconds delay is going to be f uh, showing up this, but which is five seconds from this one. Um, we're going to add a bit easier way to manage the delays. And I believe that's in the next sprint uh, where we will have uh, hours, minutes, seconds to actually type in exactly when we want to to show up the delay at this moment it is in seconds only but it works as i just described okay cool so that's the answer to rob's question oh god <laughs> uh, so let's just see here matt has a question i modified the template and created a site i'm excited about even assigned my custom domain however when i go to the site the browser tab still shows the template name in this case dentist template how do i change the text to appear on the tab when the website loads a very good and uh, question i'm going to answer it with a specific template so let's just see if i can find a dentist template just a quick look, but this will work with any template. Um, let's just use a different one. Let's just use this podcast landing page. Okay, I'm going to select this template. And now what you can see is that we have, uh, yeah, that didn't work out because I believe you have a site select. So let's just do, let's just do something else. I'm going to create a new site with a, a full website template that will explain you a bit. I believe you did the same thing. Real estate plumber. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just use the let's just use this plumber 
website in order to, to explain it. Okay. So the Plumber website's name is Plumber website. That's the template name that we have added on in Groove. And whenever you, whenever you just go and publish, you will still have Plumber website as a site name. So if we, if you publish and preview this page in the, uh, at the top of the page is going to show up Plumber website because that's what the website is called. So in case you you would like to change that, then you need to go to the settings here on the left hand side. Click this cogwheel icon and then site settings. Here is where you change your business or website name. So in case, in your case, it says um, dentist website or dentist funnel or something, then you just change this to your business name or your brand name or something that you want here instead of the template name. So let's just call this the plumbing company. LLC okay because that's the logo I have here so I'm going to use the plumbing company LLC here you can change your favicon and the favicon is over here in the in the tabs whenever you see an icon that's the favicon that shows up you can change this here yourself it should be 32 by 32 pixels very 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 tiny image that is just being used to display this image on the in the browsers so this you can change in the site settings which is over here in the left hand sidebar you click settings and then site settings and that's it once you click this uh check mark button then it actually saves the changes and you should be go to publish once you publish it's not going to show up the um the template name but your company name as you can see over here so that's the answer to that question. Let's just go on and see some, some more questions were added on here. Thank you for answering question last time. Very grateful for the insight and tips. In today's question, I have the following. How would you recommend us to leverage all these tools and how you uh, have you processed them? See attached pick. Um, okay, so yeah. So if you signed up for a lifetime account during the last launch, you got access to these apps on a... On a fr the free accounts for these apps. So Usign, Usign is a platform like Canva, and it is integrated with Groove. So in case you would like to um, to use Usign, you can go into your upper right hand side profile image, uh, click My Integrations, and here you can add a Usign integration. This means that whatever design you create in your Usign account is going to show up directly here as a as a selectable image in Groove. Let me just see. Not quite sure if I have Usign connected in this account. Oh yeah, I have. So as you can see, normal accounts have the files that you upload yourself. This is under my files. You have the option to uh, to search for free stock photos, and if you connected the Usign integration, then your designs will show up over here. As you can see, I did a beautiful test over here, and that's why it shows up. So this is not loaded into my Groove account this is the usine is sending over the images that i did if you create a banner if you create a button if you create an offer image if you create something really in usine and you just click save that will show up immediately here for your for your groove account to be able to to use it um 22 apps it's a it's a beta platform for be building your custom app i haven't tried it yet it's um uh, it's not something I need right now, so I never played with it. Groovecart. Groovecart actually transferred over to an um, unlimited number of sites, and this is where we actually transferred. We gave you... Um, Groovecart was a, was a separate platform before, and in this launch, we decided that we will give you Groovecart as well. Uh, Slingly. Sell and fulfill thousands of professional print-on-demand products with only a few clicks. Slingly is also a very, very cool dropshipping app. Uh, dropshipping and print-on-demand app. Basically, it's a product fulfillment if you're doing sales with Groovecart. Um, it's cool. I used it. I imported a couple of products. It works, it, it works well. The team behind it is awesome. Uh, review trust is displaying testimonials and reviews i haven't tested this one out to be honest i um i didn't need it so it's a good product it's it still needs work but it's a good product chatmatic i use chatmatic and i'm i'm very happy about this uh this offer uh chatmatic 
was something that we did a partnership on. And you cannot see it because of my big head. Chatmatic was uh, was a platform that was uh, partnered with Groove. Uh, since that uh, since that launch, we have changed that. Unfortunately, we didn't we didn't provide more uh, for Chatmatic from our side because we are not uh, in the chat bot business. Like Mike personally knows a lot about copywriting and landing pages and email marketing and things like that. And the chatbot system just didn't fit into, into our business model. So we we don't have a partnership yet with them, but Chatmatic is still a great software and I still use it. And it's it's just awesome, the, the, the updates that they are doing. In case you need a chatbot software, start with Chatmatic. It was created from marketers by marketers. Other tools like ManyChat and and other ones out there may be good to use, but they are created for the general purposes for for everybody to uh, to kind of find their own needs in the chatbot. But Chatmatic was created specifically for selling a product, not for support, not for other things. You can still do those things, but it was created to sell, and it's a it's a very 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 good sales platform if you if you learn how to use it. FTC Guardian, it was um, it was a very limited time offer uh, during this launch only. FTC Guardian is a biz, big company, and if you got that, uh, you are very very uh, very lucky because they run very expensive offers and they can help you a lot. This is basically a platform that creates your legal documentation for uh, for your website, for your funnels, for your privacy policy terms and conditions and things like that, uh, that may take quite a long time to do. Um, yeah, if you got it, that's great. This offer that you're seeing on the screen, it's not available anymore. This was only during the launch. If you got in during the launch or before the launch, then you have this. So this is just for those um, people that wanted to do, wanted to action fast uh, when we when we had this launch. And I don't think these offers will come in the future again. So. Um, if you have a question, oh, where can I get this one as well? I am a group member now. Unfortunately, that's not possible anymore. This was only offered by uh, for the people during our launch and it will never probably be offered again. So uh, that's basically the answer to that question from Amin. Um, cool. So now that I answered the questions from the Facebook comments on here i'm going to uh, i'm going to talk a little bit about the project that i mentioned last time that i'm working on and the question is or the uh, the topic is on the question why you guys are not using your um notification system let me tell you why we are at this moment not using our notification system and when i'm talking about the notification system what i actually mean is the little bell icon that you see inside the uh, groove dashboard this bell icon is great for for bringing all kinds of updates into the platform itself so even though something comes up we can share that news with you However, at this moment, what we created is just very hard to manage. It works through Trello cards and it, it doesn't show links. You cannot click on the link that we shared over here. There's no way to, to do anything from here. You can view all, but still here you cannot do much. Um, so we need, to, we need to be able to better manage that. Not only that, but we also want to share these news with you in an email and at this moment the current system that we use is not available to to send direct messages but i'm working on something that will manage that at this moment we we still don't have it live because we are doing this connection and what we're doing is a single sign on the system for the new feedback portal and that's what i wanted to show you so we have this new feedback portal uh, we are going to be able to show you the roadmap of what we are working on what's coming up next and what is coming in the future and that is that is something that we want to keep because we removed the roadmap that we had um that infographic page it had um it had items dated on 15th of 
August, we're going to do this. On the 17th of September, we're going to do. Uh, but it's just not not possible to keep those dates up uh, with a development process. There's when we launch something or when we do something, there could be other extra tasks needed. And then a lot was delayed, especially now with the COVID and everything. And people were not happy about that. So we kind of removed that because we were doing hard dates. And with this system, people can still see what we are working on and can see how we are progressing towards that. So what is now in progress? What is up next after that? And what is kind of the future thing that we want to do? Um, but we don't have, we don't need to give you hard dates because that that's just not possible from what we've seen. We cannot keep those hard dates uh, up with different circumstances, COVID and, and the delays because of the previous things. So I still want to provide the feedback on what we're working on and this is going to allow us. So this is kind of the feedback portal. It's not live yet. I mean, you can visit it if you if you see this uh, link up here. It's, uh, it's going to be tied into our platform. It's going to be tied in with a notification system. So if, if you see here on my screen, we have the updates and the updates are going to allow us to email every kind of new update that we do, new features, improvements, fixes, maintenance, release announcements, when we relay, release multiple things at once, uh, things that will be coming soon, uh, launch updates, uh, Groove Digital presents, important news, um, and things like that. It's going to allow us to actually um, provide you rich media with the updates like GIFs, videos, links. As you see here, this was the last update we did for Groove Pages. It was a full-on release announcement with videos, with links you can click on. You can do these emoji um, reactions as well. And you can also subscribe for updates. And that's the cool part of it. You can uh, subscribe and receive email updates whenever something comes out. We're doing a single sign-on. So uh, if we manage to do it, then you'll be able to just log in and put in your uh, your feedback in this feedback portal uh, using your Groove account through one click. And also you can sign up or subscribe if you want to receive updates when something goes live. For example, we have uh, on the on the future request, we have A, B split testing when this, uh, this is um, being worked on, we'll put it on the on the roadmap in progress, up next or future, and then we can basically notify you when it goes live through the updates on here. So that's kind of the answer to why we are not using the notification system, what we're doing about that, and how we are planning to um, to keep you guys up to date with the things that we are working on, and that's. That's my project and that's what we have so far. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going into our current feedback portal and manually adding in these future requests uh, or feature requests, sorry, because um, from what I've seen, p different people uh, put in the same request in different words. And that has been like the current feedback portal that we have. Um, there is thousands of tickets on here that should be closed and it would take us two months to close it if we just work on this one. Uh, but a lot of these things are just repeating again and again and again and again and again. And I just want to like take out manually and put in these feature requests uh, over here and just be able to keep, uh, keep track of what the requests are. So um, that's what's happening with, uh, with, uh, with everything. Also, one of the reasons we changed the platform is because Canny, uh, the one that we were using before for or that we are using currently for the feedback portal, they limit us in number of users and we don't like that. We don't like to be limited as you guys don't like to be limited. That's why we that's why you probably got this unlimited offer that is currently going on. If you didn't, make sure you get it before the next price increase because we're going to um, ask you to pay more for for less. And you don't want that. So um, we are future-proofing ourselves with, uh, with the apps, with the expansions that we want, and this way we can do it. So that's what I wanted to update you all about. Cool. So let's just go on and see some of the questions from this live stream. 
Okay. Hey, David, thank you for answering my question. Last time it was greatly grateful. I, uh, in today's, okay, I believe that is the actual question from Amin we answered already. Uh, Lizu is here. Hey, David, how are you? Thank you very much, Lizu. I'm here. I'm good. Uh, how are you? Um, some Facebook user saying, is it possible to duplicate slides in a slider so that layout would be easier? Um, you can duplicate the, it, the the slides if you're using it. It's a block. It's a container. So you can duplicate the elements. You can drag it out and drag it back in. We don't really have for a full-on slide to to duplicate the slide. You can ask that in the in a feature request. At this moment, we don't have that on. Will you be creating a new challenge with updated version of Groove? Um, I was thinking about that, and I'm going to, more towards yes on that one. Good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Thank you very much. I don't see who you are. So if you could, please, I would appreciate just uh, go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. That would allow me to see who you are. And I would be able to just basically respond easily. Um, Auntie, Auntie God, <laughs> uh, when on the Groove dashboard, it shows how many visits you, uh, your three most recent Groove pages sites have had. Is there a way of seeing visits uh, for all Groove pages sites I have created? Um, that's a great question. We are actually changing the, the. Let me just share my screen and go out with the notifications. Whenever you're in the Groove dashboard, you see some uh, visits and visitors, bounce rates, and things like that. We are changing the system that we are counting the visits uh, in order to be able to provide better feedback. Uh, that's on a to-do list that we didn't start yet. But the current way we were counting the users was working beautifully with the previous version of Groove. The, uh, we we need to do some refactoring of the of the how the visits are being counted on a website previously we also had stats in here but when the when we changed the the big core of of how our website works that kind of counting and uh, analytics wasn't uh, wasn't working anymore uh, so we so we are changing the way this is going to be counted, the, the visits, unique visitors, and things like that. And once that is up and running, we're going to provide you with more uh, with more analytics, more numbers. At this, just, at this moment, it's just not working um, as good as we want it to. So uh, for now, I do suggest you hook up um, Google Analytics or some other analytics platforms in order to be able to track clicks, views, visitors, impressions, and things like that on your site um, to get more um more information about who is visiting your site from where what ages what devices and things like that we'll have a basic version of those analytics that google analytics gives you but i would still if even though we have the we have the analytics i would still hook up google analytics with with my sites and i'm actually doing all of that uh because i just want to have the data uh in order to be able to to target those specific uh, specific people later on. And Google Analytics is just a free tool so that you can use it. Um, off topic, is there a way, any way to import a funnel from ClickFunnels? There was. ClickFunnels didn't like it, so they blocked our importer. I'm going to leave this on, on the screen. Um, what we are thinking of, what we are working towards, is a way around that. There was a... Um, there was a brainstorming session we had in our group recently and in our in our company's uh, chat group and um there are some good ideas on how to circumvent this importing functionality uh and blocking of of click funnel sites and we believe we found a good solution for that we didn't start development on it but um if we are able if it is it is let's just say, legal to do what we are planning, then we can have that solution uh, by the end of this year. Um, and that would allow importing of, of ClickFunnel sites and other sites from, from other platforms. Um, what's going on with Groove Member right now? I try to log in both as user and developer, and either is not loading or Windows freezing during login. I'm not sure. Um, we are working on the database of the new builder. Let me just see if I am able to log in 
not quite sure. Let's see. So open builder. I'm going to just log into the builder just to see if that works. Okay, seems to be working. Let's just go and see if I can log in as a as an admin. Okay, I'm able to log in with as an admin. It's just not showing up the post immediately. Okay, there we go. So it showed up the post now. So that works. Um, let's just log in as a member. I don't have members. So I, mean, I cannot check in. I don't think I have. Um, these are all test accounts for some of my emails that I don't use anymore. So I don't have an email. But it seems to be working on my end. Um, if you are still experiencing any issues, reach out to support so they can look into it. One of my sites uh, on mobile is not working properly. Uh, you can literally move the site side to side with white space on either side of the site. How do I fix that? That's most probably, uh, Rob, due to some extra margins or extra padding added on to some of your elements. Um, we had this issue very frequently uh, before, but uh, from the from the latest deployments to the to the spacing and sizing functionalities, uh, that shouldn't be happening anymore on new sites. Uh, if this site is an older site, it will probably happen because it was it was like that before. Um, so have a look about your blocks, containers, elements, if they have any kind of um, extra spacing or sizing on the on the sides that could that would cause this sides uh, side scroll issues hi david is there a way to enlarge the logo on our current blog template i don't need anything fancy i just want at the top the blog homepage to show the blog name in header h1 format i just want at the top of the blog homepage to show the blog name in header Um, so you're talking about a text, a text logo, if I understand. Um, so enlarging a logo, which is an image, that's, that's something that you do through resizing the image that is in your image library in Groove. But I don't understand you want a blog name in header H1 format. Um, Groove the logos are not going to be able to give you H1 functionalities and things like that. Um, let me just see quickly over here. When you're going to your, to your blog, you don't really have a, a title displayed in the in the actual blog on here you have your logo but this logo is not something that you can manage to be h1 or h2 or something what you could do is go to settings and click open graph and here you give the the the, the what's the name the blog the title that will show up so this is going to be the title that will be recognized by by search engines and also um the social media platforms. This has been recently added, so you may not have seen this, but this open graph is for the blog so that you can put in the title, the, the full on URL and the, the type of the open graph, which would be a, a blog or article, um, description, what shows up when somebody shares your blog and an image that loads up, uh, that loads when, when you share a link on social media, WhatsApp or something like that. So that's the way you manage what shows up in the in the search engines as a title. Um, okay, I don't fully understand this question. Cont D Conted <laughs> browser is Chrome. Um, I don't think that's a question. So if you really have a question for me, you can ask me about your 
the thing that you're having issues with. Hi, David. I'm confused about portals and memberships in GrooveMember. If a member gets their username and password for their initial membership, will that same username and password work for the portal after they sign up for my additional content? Yes. So whenever one person signs up for your for your membership, they will use that username and password for access on, on all your memberships if they have purchased. Okay. So when... Um, when somebody you have five programs, five memberships, somebody purchased uh, only one of those, only one of those memberships that is showing up in your portal, that is that is going to uh, require the username and password that they either created when uh, when they purchased or when they actually um, when they logged in or registered for the membership. So that is a username and password that is created for a user for your account if they at the end not only have one membership but purchase the second third fourth and fifth membership let's just say all of those will use the same username password combination so that one user is kind of tied into your membership and your plat your portal with one username password combo um so that's how it works um, there are membership platforms out there that provide each and every membership to have its own username and password, but that's just hard to manage, harder to manage when you're offering something in a portal. So when you when you have a portal which shows you all of the uh, five memberships and you want to access each and every one of these, uh, you'll need to have five username password combinations that's what others do what we do is you have one password username combo for all five and you basically you can log into any of those just by logging into the portal does groove run ads on tv we don't we don't run ads except in case you're watching youtube on your tv using chromecast or some other platform a smart tv then we actually do sometimes we run youtube ads and then they appear on the tv as a device but not as tv as a as a distribution information distribution network uh Jagan or Jagan R. I don't know how to pronounce it, but hi David Levin. I have subdomain. How to get free hosting in GrooveFunnels? Um, hosting for all your blog and pages is free. You don't need to get it. It's just there. If you have a Groove account, you most probably already have uh, something that uses hosting. Uh, so there's nothing to do or nothing to kind of sign up for or install. It's just there. Um, Groove is not. A hosting platform like what you do with i don't know bluehost hostgator and a side ground and things like that it's not going to give you cpanel and the whole shebang to access the servers um it's an <clears throat> sorry it's a cloud-based platform where we use our own servers uh, and give you the tools to be able to to create your website with our own tools with our own servers so that's the free hosting that you get with Groove. When the pop-ups will get get fixed, many issues in Groove pop up showing some random code after some time. Yeah, we are working on that. We actually have a couple of fixes coming for that one. Um, it was supposed to be last week, but the, they didn't pass Q, QA. Um, that was in my, um, not last week. It was supposed to be this week, but they didn't pass QA. It's still, we still found some issues with pop-ups. We're working on that and we, uh, we're getting there. Um, Hi, David. When I'm creating a page from a template in group pages, all devices work except the horizontal tablet. Text and colors are all over the place and duplicate button don't work. I've been trying to have this resolved, but without success. The browser I'm using is Chrome. Uh, how can I have this resolved? Uh, Norris, I don't really know what the issue is. If you could, I would appreciate if you reach out to uh, support so they can look into this one. Um, template should be all set up. If it if it is uh, actually losing styling when you're using a template, there may be something uh, that needs to be looked in from the dev side of things. So please reach out to our support team. Go to support.groovedigital.com um, and uh, support will gather the information. If you could provide them with a video or your, your login details or your uh, site ID or the, the, the site link that you have in there so we can look into it with, um, with uh, devs, that would be great. 
Okay, just a second. I just lost the comments now. Okay. Um, hi, David. In GrooveCart, is there an easy way to just have the UK only as I do not want to deal with shipping overseas and customs? Uh, you can create a shipping area where you select only the zone, which is UK. Let me see if I can demonstrate that for you. Okay, so we are in GrooveBlog. We go to Apps and we open GrooveCart. We'll open one of my test GrooveCart accounts where... We could hopefully demo this creating of a shipping zone. So this is done in settings international. Settings international. You create a zone which will be for uh, for different countries, states and things like that. So you click on zones and we should be able to create our own specific zone here we go. So add new zone. At this moment, we have Europe, North America, Afri uh, Africa, Asia, and some of these zones already created, but we can create a new zone where we add in specific, um, let's just say U UK. There you go. Now we have a zone UK. And here in the countries, um, I think we can assign that to a zone. Yeah, here we go. So let's just see if we can find um, United. Search United, United Kingdom. Here we go. So it's now in the zone Europe. So we can choose this one and assign it to UK. Oops, you cannot see it. So what I did is just clicked on this check mark. For United Kingdom, and here in this drop down, now you can see the new zone that we created. So you assign it to UK, assign to new zone, and here it should change from Europe to UK. There we go. So now we created a new zone, we added United Kingdom in case you want to ship also to um, to outer to the Great Britain area, then you can add on all of those countries or parts of, of UK as well. Um, but yeah, that's just how you do it. So you just uh, search for the country and uh, you add them into a zone by just clicking on this check mark and selecting the zone that you created. Then you can create different shipping methods. So that's step one, creating a zone, adding in the countries. In the settings, shipping, you can then create a shipping uh, option for that zone particularly. So you go into shipping methods and you create a new shipping method here on the top of the of the screen over here you click new shipping method and here we just call this uh, uk uk um, express shipping okay this is something that your customers will be able to see so always call it something particularly good like express shipping or fast shipping or uh, or something that is kind of yay it's i don't need to wait at so much time so um over here you can put in some description i'm just going to just copy over any text so that i don't have to fill it you can put in your logo or a specific image for this express shipping um and over here you basically put in the price if you just want to include all of the all of the shipping fees then you just leave it as it is and then you just select this one as your new zone that we created and we click the we click the save button and then we're good to go so now we have a uk express shipping that's basically shipping from zero to to everything and now that's the that's the shipping method that is going to uh, be available for for users to pick on your checkout uh checkout pages um so there we go so you go into settings international in in order to create a zone in the zone you add in the the countries that you want for example if you want to sell in the top four countries for drop shipping for example uh that's usa uh united kingdom australia and canada i believe um these are the top four they call it the top four because drop shippers always go for a top four um it's English speaking. People are familiar with purchases online. They have money and things like that. So this, 
these are kind of top four. You can create a, a zone called top four, and then for those, you give free shipping or things like that. Once you created the zone, you go into the shipping settings, in the settings, shipping, and then you create this method that I just showed you, and that should be it. Um, okay. Any news about webhooks in GrooveCart? GrooveCart webhooks is getting the documentation written right now. It should be the, it should be released sometime in August. I actually asked about that today, and um, let's just see. Um, it is in beta. We are writing the documentation, doing some unit testing, but they cannot say when is it going to be deployed. But it's it should be in August. Um, brand new upgraded, still unaware of everything available. I've been told to use Active Campaign to launch my challenge. Wondering if that's needed now that I have Groove Lifetime. You will still need to use Active Campaign, unfortunately, for the time being until Groove Mail comes out. Groove Mail, first of all, welcome. Very good decision that you joined. Um, we will have Active Campaign uh, uh, functionalities in, as. Um, as what you can see right now in Active Campaign, we'll have that in in a platform called Groove Mail. Sorry, <coughs> uh, Groove Mail is going to be the emailing platform and also the platform that does the automations and sequences and gathers the info about the leads and the basically the contacts, uh, people who purchase, people who sign up, people who view a video, people who just do a certain kind of action on your on your funnel on your site that is all going to be uh, tracked within groove mail but for now our sending is being tested and improved we are working uh heavily on on improving our our servers ips and sending capabilities so whenever you're sending the email is actually going to to the inbox for users and not the spam or the promotion folder or something like that um we are doing um we're doing tests with with a selected few number of users that we know uh, know and trust that they will not harm the system anymore um we had to stop the sending because there were there were specific users that abused the system they created certain bots and were adding in people at the, at the crazy amount of rates like hundreds of people per second so we had to stop that because they did more harm. They started spamming using groove mail and things like that. So we put an end to that, and we we are now improving the, the actual um, systems in groove mail uh, so that that we don't have to stop the sending anymore in the future at all. Uh, thank you, David Lemon. I didn't know what Open Graph did. Thank you. No problem at all. Uh, hi, David. Hello, Facebook user. Not sure who you are, but I cannot see your full comment. I'm just going to read through what I can see here. Hi, David. Always nice to see you on screen. I moved some domains from GoDaddy to Groove, and I also want to transfer the domain registration for these domains from GoDaddy to Cloudflare to save money and get better security. I actually heard that Cloudflare does a very good job in actually holding the domain so you guys if you if you are not happy with godaddy namecheap or some other platform that you're using because they actually give different pricing when you purchase a, uh, a domain it may be one dollar but but the renewal is ten dollars but each year is actually more and more that's what most platforms do i i heard that cloudflare doesn't do that and they just keep the same price it may be a solution that you were looking for Okay, uh, they also seem to be associated more directly with Groove. So they're not associated. We're just using them for our, our um, for the handling of our domains and kind of the 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 system around domains. So we are using them for for ourselves as well and for each and every user that comes to Groove, connects a domain. Cloudflare is handling that. Uh, there is no like partnership on any kind of association between the two companies. However, I do not know how to set up an email address for each of these domains since Cloudflare does not seem to offer an email service. Can you please let me know how to solve this email service issue? Um, email services are uh, are installed on hosting platforms. Whenever you go and purchase a HostGator or Bluehost, SiteGround, hosting just basically the space on a on a physical server in the world, they give you access to cPanel, and in cPanel you have app options to create an email. That is not happening when there is a cloud 
uh, cloud service company like Groove. We provide you uh, options to connect your domain and we give you kind of the DNS management, but we don't have a platform that you install on the server for managing your emails. Um, I don't know if we'll have if we will ever have that uh, now or or later or I know now we don't, but um, I don't think we will have that because that's a lot of management. Is just is just we our focus is better uh, better on something something else that makes you guys more money. So for now, um, if you would like to install an email using Groove and Cloudflare, if you head over to YouTube and go to our Groove uh, YouTube channel inside the video, or you can just search for it, a uh, branded email. Okay. There's a video getting a professional email address with your domain that is connected to Groove pages. This is a video I created about the, the things that you could do. There's a couple of different ways to do email address connections. Um, one is through getting an email through Namecheap or GoDaddy or other platforms like that. Um, where you purchase the domain, you can get that uh, get that there. It's not the best option, so it's not necessarily what I recommend. Another option is getting an email through G Suite or Microsoft 365 or Soho Mail or things like that. These are platforms that are uh, built specifically for... Um, I believe they called Google Workspace or something like that. Yeah, Google Workspace. Um, so this is where you actually purchase accounts where you get email, calendars, drive, kind of a um, cloud hosting capabilities, document editing, uh, video and meeting capabilities, and things like that. Basically, it's a paid Gmail account. Um, this is what Google Workspace provides you. Uh, the pricing is pretty tolerable. It's $5, $6 per month per user for this basic package. And it's just more than enough for some. I would definitely go with Google if you're planning to create a, uh, a real business that wants to kind of grow in the future and expand heavily in the future. This is, will allow you to expand to, to have as many users as you want and just pay a little money in order to provide them with all of these tools google docs google sheets google forms google drive google meet google like this is a, it's a good platform okay so this is another option i also show you a step by step on how to do that in this video so one more time the video title is getting a professional email address with your domain that is connected to groove pages i kind of wanted to create a huge title to put in as much key as many keywords as i can so people find this video. But um, yeah, so that's the second option. And the third option is use free op free platforms like uh, Zoho Mail. I use that for myself. Zoho Mail gives you an option to have one free branded domain. Like you can have um, your, let me just see here, your name at your domain.com even for free but I believe they give you only one of these. There is also uh, Yandex Mail, and they give you 10, 10 custom branded email addresses, if I'm correct. Not quite sure, but this is another option that you could use, Yandex Mail. All of these platforms, I um, so Yandex Mail is the only one I never used. Uh, I heard only good stuff about it. They also give you um, cloud storage and all sorts of different stuff. Um, but Zoho Mail, Google Workspace, you can find how to actually connect here in, in this video. So this is for Zoho Mail, this is G Suite, and this is Namecheap. Um, Yandex Mail, I heard good things about. It's a, it's a Russian hosting uh, company. They have a very secure uh, way of managing the emails. They give you options to connect your own um, um, email email platform as well they give you uh yandex mail as the as the inbox software but you can also connect to other softwares you cannot do that through zoho uh, you could do this through google workspace but that's again a paid platform if you're going for free if you're just testing out 
like you were playing with dropshipping, you're playing with funnels, you're playing with something, go with Yandex Mail. Just test out the waters. You don't need to play. You, you don't need to pay to play. Uh, so that would be my suggestion. Uh, if you are looking, if you have an already established serious business and you want to expand in the future, just pay that measly $6 if you can um, per month and just go with a platform that will just you can confidently use and and just upscale in the future um it's very easy to connect it's just adding in some dns uh, records that's basically copy pasting what these platforms give you into groove and that's it there's nothing fancy on how to connect it. it's very simple um Thanks for signposting the new Groove blog open graph settings. What does type mean? Type is um, different types of open graph uh, can be. Would it be an article for when you're sharing a blog post? Would it be um, would it be an image? For example, an image can also have its own open graph settings. It. Uh, let me just show you here. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. So if you go over. Open grab type list. You can have a list of open graph. Mm. Let's see. Not sure which one, but yeah, so you can have music as a type, you can have video, you can have um, other stuff like article ah here we go no that's not let me just find a better way where it's where it's mentioned ah here we go so og types you can have website article blog you can have book game movie food you can have city country actor author politician company hotel restaurant and there is a full on list here which we actually just visited earlier so and there's a different types of content that you can hook up open graph setting for and that's the type that we allow you to to give so if you're doing a blog setting the type will most probably be blog but it could be also podcast in case you're doing a blog for podcasts and things like that so it just depends what you want to set it up for when is groove blog adding the feature alt plus images for image seo um i don't have a date for that yet it's on our to-do list though is the main domain publishing on group blog like sample page dot uh, thank you Nick. is 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 the main domain publishing in group blog are um, not quite sure what that means but what you're asking for if we can publish publish blogs as a folder like forward slash something that's basically a folder we have this folder publishing in works i actually did an update on that um last friday um it is still being uh, being tested we found some 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 things that we need to manage before getting it live like for example when you connect your blog with your domain as a forward slash blog it's actually tied to your groove pages site so in case you delete that groove pages site what happens then so that's kind of the 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 problem that we're solving it is it is being finalized it's being uh, tested should be going live next week um i cannot say definitively but we are kind of 95 percent done with that ta uh, task just the five extra percent is the testing that is being worked on um yeah by pop-ups will it be possible to define position of the pop-up on the site like not only top middle bottom but actually side left top right etc at this moment we have plans for pop-ups and i can tell you immediately that this was just a plan but we create created a trello card as a task for it so what we will do with pop-ups is we are going to provide you a pop-ups link so that you can when you create a pop-up um yeah first let's just start there pop-ups are now tied to a, a site in groove pages we're going to be bringing it out so it's going to become a global thing it's like domains domains are are global for all the apps in uh in groove pop-ups are going to be dragged out of groove pages and it's going to allow you to basically 
connect a pop-up to Groove blog, Groove cart, Groove member, and to different things using code. Um, so every pop-up will will give you a nice JavaScript code, which is going to allow you to put it in Groove blog, or put it on on your Groove member site, or put it or Groove member membership, or or in the Groove cart. And that's the first thing that we're going to be working on for the pop-ups. Uh, we are also going to allow you, that was talked about on the Groovathon already, we're going to allow you to bring in blocks so that you have designed pop-ups. Like we are going to design also nice, nicely laid out uh, blocks so you drag them over and you have, um, I don't know, pop-ups for promotions, for coupons, for sign-ups, for all kinds of things. Um, so that's two things for pop-ups. Um, the third thing we want to do is is different animations and I'm pretty confident this is where this is going to come in handy the positioning so animations of pop-ups on how they show up and where they show up from and things like that um, I believe this is this is uh, this is going to come together with your request there can you create a tag when lead clicks on a link um, I seem to remember it was previously possible I I can't see how to do it now. Am I missing something? Will it be in the future? Um, yes. At this moment, we are not tracking that. We we uh, don't have a way to track the links in our system yet. That's going to be built out, built into um, Groove Mail. So every link that you create is going to be uh, going to be tracked. At this moment, we just don't track. Uh, all the links right now. Um, in Groove Mail, when you go into leads and you click on a lead basically on anyone's name or contact um, then you see this kind of history of what they did if they signed up somewhere if they purchased your product if they uh, received the campaign if they if they are part of a sequence and things like that so all of that history is going to be shown there and the uh, clicks uh, are also going to be able you'll be able to track links through that kind of system that's coming uh, soon that's not not possible yet at this moment. What about setting up the tax settings in GrooveCart? Does it include, uh, does it calculate itself for the US market sales tax or by other countries? Um, for US, you can use uh, this automatic calculation. I believe that is one of these options. Let me just double check in here. Um, so taxes, there's three options. One is set it up yourself. One is use tax jar. And another one is, yeah, United States and Canada only. It's basically calculating and capturing the taxes uh, automatically. So you can use this option in GrooveCart in order to be able to, to manage the, the taxes automatically. Um, I still do recommend TaxJar. TaxJar just makes it easier to for the reportings and for everything to, to, be, um, to be managed easy, e easily. Dude, you gotta do another Groove Card challenge with all the new features that recently been updated. It's been a year since you last did this challenge. We actually did a a pretty cool demo on the last Groovathon. So Alejandro, if you have a look on the, I will show you exactly where it is. Oops, sorry about that. Um, if you have a look on our YouTube channel, just go into Groove CM and videos, and you scroll down a little bit. Here on our latest Groovathon, we we were talking about the groove cart in-depth intro so this is where we where we were on the screen it was uh it was john garcia frank salinas uh, matt seralta and myself we went through the different different options of groove cart and we gave best practices and it was um it was a guided tour of what you can do and some ideas on how to do it. Not sure if you were watching. I, I don't fully remember everybody that was here, but we kind of did a, a full demo of how to do it. Like we imported products, we managed the, the site a little bit, we set up shipping methods, and we we kind of talked about all of that. We also talked about the future plans and development and, and things like that. So this was the last kind of demo that we did but definitely yeah we we will need to refresh the the groove car challenge it, it's been quite a lot of additions that were added and uh, groove car just just has so much more to offer than it was before so um let's just see the next question on here 
I embedded a GrooveMail form in landing page. It is left side oriented. Can, how can I center it? Um, let me show you. When you're embedding something, the, the embeds are always going to be, let's just use this here. Um, the embeds are always going to be left, um, added to the left hand side. If you would like to, uh, to center them, you need to, to configure the size of the actual embed element. I will explain you what I mean by this. I'm just going to start a new canvas and add in an empty container so I can show it here in the middle of the screen. Um, I'm going to add in an element, which is the code embed. I'm going to go to GrooveMail and just take, um, take GrooveMail form embed it on the canvas. And this is this is what I'm going to show you. It, it works with every embed that you that you have. Would it be um, embed from Mailchimp for or any kind of email software? Would it be something else really? Um, let me just see how that looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Email last name, uh, first name, last name, address. Church ladies sign up. I actually did this demo for somebody here in in a Q&A not that long ago. So I'm going to reuse that form. So if we embed something in an embed element, um, it is it is going to be kind of big. <laughs> if you um, if you have a if you have something else that you embedded and it just shows up on the left hand side, it's much smaller than what I did now. Let me just see how I could make it smaller. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you here with, with what I can right now. So what you do is you go into sizing and you just size it smaller. The whole element, the whole embed element, okay? When you make it smaller, it's just going to be um, <laughs> left aligned. Not that left, the other left. No, this one. Anyway, I just wanted to be cool to show with my fingers, but that didn't succeed. So it's going to be uh, left aligned automatically. What you need to do is make this smaller, and then in the container, you can go to layout and then set it up in the middle of the screen. You basically don't manage the embed code to be centered, but you manage the container that is holding the embed code. Okay, everything that is in this container, put it in the middle. So that's what you do. That's how you do the actual embed so that it shows up in the middle. Um, and now, ta-da, you cannot see my hand, but ta-da, that's what you do. Yeah, trying to be cool is hard. Um, let's just go on to the next one. Is it possible to create a table format in GrooveBlog? Um, we don't have the table element as of, as of now. You can embed a table if you have uh, some table uh, embed platform or or something that you found online for embedding tables you could do that using an embed uh, embed form hello david please remind me again what set you use to let your eyeglasses appear clear i know that you mentioned in the past uh, on a previous presentation i actually just use a cloth <laughs> no that was a joke um so what i do is i have two light boxes i'm going to show you here one light box is a uh, basically this one it's a it's a light bulb that is in a kind of a, uh, let me see if i can show you a, an image of a light box for everybody that doesn't know this tech lingo light box the light bulb, which is in um, some kind of cloth that kind of diffuses the light. Light box on stand. That's not what it what I wanted. Light stand. Kind of what photographers use. Something like this. Um, it's just much cheaper. Eh, this one, something like this. 
Um, so basically, it's a light bulb which is covered in this cloth which diffuses the light. I have two of these on the sides, and I use a ring light, something like this one, which is here on the top in front of me. So if I would put the ring light straight into my face, then you would see the uh, the light in my in my eyeglasses. If if I tilt my head up, then you can see the ring light. But um, I I put it up so that it's it's kind of shining on my head here, um, and then it's not affecting any kind of of things. Become I'm looking down on the on the um, on the monitor. I'm looking down on my screen, and my head is is not looking up. If if I look up, you can see the the rings in my in my glasses. But even if I turn it off. It's now turned off. It's not a big change because these ring lights do the do the majority of the work. So if I close these, it's basically I'm in dark. All the light that is coming now is from my screens. So when I turn this on and also the the ring light, then it's kind of a a nice and shiny uh, image of David Lemon in the screen for you guys. Uh, Okie dokie. Click on the form, then one up to container out of that form and go to layout settings. Choose horizontal and center, play around with it. Uh, one of the settings will do the trick, okay? I use Yandex Mail, it's very good, but can be difficult to set up. I would actually test it out. I, did, I didn't test it out yet, but I'm going to just do a, a quick demo for myself, maybe record it so that everybody can, everybody can see it. Uh, can you show how you can add your own personal bonus when you promote Groove? Absolutely, absolutely, that's a great question. So. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not aware, we are preparing for a launch. This launch is going to be in August, uh, and we are going to be launching for affiliates. And the cause is that we are increasing the price after the launch. So $13.97, I believe, is the price right now. And we are going to go to, to almost $2,000. One nine nine nine, I believe, is going to be the price. So this new price, we want to to have as many people as possible to get the the lower price, and um, that's what we are doing for the launch. When when you go to GrooveJV.com right now, you're going to see GrooveJV.com. You're going to see the actual launch information. So familiarize yourself with this uh, launch. August 19th till August 31st. First video you see on here is Mike telling us about the launch, rules, regulations, affiliate prizes, and things like that. Um, the second video you want to know is this video over here, which is talking about the affiliate program. There's two very important concepts you need to know about. One is um, first tag wins, and the second one is... Um, the Groove Assist. So please familiarize familiarize yourself with this one. This is a 10-minute video, which you can just watch in one sitting, but analyze it again and again, write it out for what, what it says, and it's going, to, it's going to help you actually compete. Over here, you see your, your links, but what we suggest is to promote Groove, not only by sharing your link, but also by providing a bonus, a very, very good incentive for somebody to sign up through your link. When we are running a launch, a lot of people are just sharing their links and and the and the people that people that want to join, they can just pick and choose who they will join from. And this gives you an opportunity to to provide a bonus so that they come and join through your link, not through somebody else's link. If you have a look on our YouTube channel, bonus, if you just type in bonus, the first video that shows up is get more affiliate signups using bonuses in Groove Affiliate. This is a video that guides you through on how to create bonuses, what bonuses can be, what, um, um, yeah, how Groove Affiliate works, how how to create bonuses, how, how the bonuses will be delivered, um, how to create promotional pages and things like that. So I kind of go over everything that you may need to know. You don't need to know all of that, but just watch through the video and it is going to help you understand um, this concept of giving away bonuses to win the actual affiliate uh, sign-up. 
So um, now that you know where to get more information on that, I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. So if you go into Groove Apps, Groove Affiliate, this is the platform where you manage your affiliate programs. And everybody that signed up and has a Groove platform is signed up as an affiliate for Groove itself. And this is where you can go to promos and you will see the affiliate programs you're a part of. All of you guys will have Groove, okay? And Groove is the actual platform that you want to start promoting for this launch. So when you're here, <clears throat> you can see a couple of different buttons on the side. I'll just zoom in here. The first thing is just for the affiliate link, okay? So you can see your affiliate links and you can get started promoting your affiliate links. The second one is where you add your bonuses that are just simple links. So you select which tier or like, for example, Groove Funnels Lifetime Upgrade. You can just choose one of the bonuses that you added. I'm going to show you where you add those in a moment. But here is where you just select the bonus that you, that you want to give for this promo. The third option here is the, the stats for, for this promotion. So how many impressions, signups you have. And then the fourth option is integrations for promotion. For this integration, it gives you an ability to put in <clears throat> tracking codes. So if you want to, if you want to do um, tracking with pixels, if you want to do tracking with uh, with Google Analytics on who is clicking on the on the link, or to be able to understand more information on, on who exactly clicked on your link so you can better your marketing promotions, this is where you put in tracking codes. Integrations, for example, if you want to add somebody that signs up for Groove under your link, you can add them to your integration, in, for example, MailChimp, or you can send them to Zapier and then zap their data around the internet. You can also use webhooks in case you want to um, to do webhooks, for example, uh, deliver a membership which is built in Kajabi or built in Thinkific or something else that you already have. You can give that membership or, or course as, a, as an automatic bonus for somebody that signs up to Groove. You could also create a membership in Groove member and, and add that as a membership in here. So you built out your bonus membership in Groove and you just select it from here, bam. Select the access levels that they get and you're done. So now what I did is I set up everybody that's that starts, starts a trial, which is not a, a thing anymore. But let's just say um, if I want to use the Groove Funnels lifetime upgrade, everybody that, that selects the Groove Funnels one pay option, they will get added to this uh, actual membership on here. So these are kind of the things that you could do. You can also deliver the files. You upload the files to Groove Member, Groove Member content files. This is where you upload a file, would it be an ebook, image, PDF, uh, music, video, anything really. And then when somebody signs up to Groove, this file will automatically get delivered. So for example, book of coaching, it's a five megabyte PDF that I can deliver automatically just by setting it up here. So when somebody signs up for Groove, the system automatically delivers these bonuses. Um, so that's one way to actually um, deliver the bonuses. And this is the, this is the option that I would like you to learn. Go to Groove Affiliate, Promos, click on this integration link, go into and set these up. Tracking code integrations, webhooks, memberships, or files. Just do the steps and get more affiliates signups using bonuses. That's definitely needed for uh, for launches where everybody's flinging our, around their uh, signup links and and affiliate links. You want to be the one that they take from the crowd and that they go to and sign up because your bonus is something that they want. Um, let me tell you. Um, a story for a last big affiliate launch that I, that I remember. Um, and it was crazy. <clears throat> this is what this was an affiliate launch for the Traffic Secrets book from from uh, Russell Brunson. And uh, basically the book is book is just a, a tripfire uh, offer. It's kind of a, a low budget offer for for getting people in to offer them more higher ticket 
offers. Like the first thing that you purchase is a book, is a $9 book. Uh, that is kind of, uh, you get it for free, just pay $9 shipping. Um, and then after that, there's a course and then there's a software and there's a this and there's coaching and whatnot. And basically that's what they were selling. But the way how they were selling it is through affiliates. So affiliates came in with, with their bonuses and they were promoting a $9 book. And affiliates, in order to win the best the best affiliate title, they were giving away huge bonuses. Some of them were giving away all of their work that they did uh, in the past. Uh, some were giving away software. Some were giving away books and and memberships and and huge huge bonuses that were giving away. And I know myself as well. I purchased two books from different affiliates just to get their bonuses. Uh, I know uh, people people that purchased eight or nine different books for nine dollars just to get those bonuses that the other affiliates were promoting i know a nine dollar product and a 1397 product will not have this effect i just wanted to give you this short story in order to to understand that bonuses are something that sometimes sell even more than the product itself uh so you want to use that um, affiliate bonus kind of launch for your affiliate marketing uh, as uh, whenever you can and with groove it's it's basically simple you set up your bonuses to be delivered automatically and your hands off um okay let's just go on to the next question when i embed a code from affiliate tables dot io the embed tables in groove blog it, it is not displaying correctly although it works fine with wordpress it seems that the CR css are not working but i'm not sure what should i do um affiliate tables it was working previously it was something that i suggested for for users to to look into it's definitely a great platform i have it myself they were running a lifetime deal and i got it I'm not sure if they still do but or not but um i'll definitely look into it if there is a css issue then we can sort it out that's not a problem um if you could that would be very very uh, helpful if you reach out to the support and basically just uh just show them what you found in order so they can create uh create a task for the developers i will also test it from my side uh but make sure you uh, make sure you reach out to support so they can see if maybe there's some easy tweak that can be done that could uh, that could fix this for you um but i'm going to also do my tests what do i need to do to change my bank account in GroovePay? um reach out to groove support groove pay support um that's the first thing where i would start uh, thank you, David, for your answers to the email service question. Always so helpful. My name is Juan Pablo Obando. Uh, I've been signing uh, signing to your live streams through StreamYard, and my name still does not show. Sorry about that. Always grateful for all you do. You're the man. I'm the man. <laughs> thank you, Pablo. Or uh, sorry, thank you, Juan Pablo. I don't really know some people that have so many names. I don't know which one to say. Should I say all of them? Should I say the first one? Should I say the next one? So I'll just say thank you juan pablo i appreciate um uh i know that sometimes Streamyard is giving issues sometimes it is a it is a facebook security thing some people set up this facebook security high, uh, level to high and that kind of blocks any kind of external application external thing to to uh to access the information on facebook which is cool but in some cases uh, like this it it may be uh it will not be as useful so no worries it's just different settings on facebook accounts um okay there is a spanish person over here um that was also translated so i'm going to use the english version hello david could you enable the subtitles in spanish on youtube because i am a hispanic speaker and i don't understand english i already bought the license for life um <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't see any kind of Spanish language for subtitles. Whenever we are doing a video, and I can I can show you in here. Um, when you turn on the subtitles, in the settings of these subtitles, you can just choose it to a different auto-generated in uh, language. We or so auto translate it to to Spanish because there is no setting in YouTube set specific 
uh, subtitles. So you would need to manage that on YouTube yourself. There is no way for us to manage it. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you here. <clears throat> so what you do is turn on the subtitles, the captions, the captions. We manually go in and manually adjust the subtitles so that um, so that the English one is almost perfect. We don't we don't do a lot of uppercase, lowercase words and things like that, but the but the words are correctly added in the English subtitles, and that's why the English subtitles show up here as an option. But there is no way for us to actually translate that from from a from our side. Uh, but you can use the auto translate option and then choose Spanish over here. And because we auto we we manually translated the actual um, English language, the Spanish language should be should be much better than the auto um, auto translation. So as you can see here. Um, Soy David Lemon aquí con el vino de hoy. So <laughs> I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but I'm guessing. Um, you can turn this on to any language that you prefer, just in the settings of the subtitles here. Um, hopefully that helps. Hi, David. How do you actually make yourself appear in the stream without any background? Uh, Chris, I am actually using OBS. And I have a green screen. If you can see my hand, it's kind of hazy. Uh, and that's because I'm using a green screen behind me. I just have an image as a background. Let me just see if I can move this image around. Maybe it is a funky. Yeah, you can see I'm actually moving this image. This is basically a JPEG image that I'm putting behind me. And um, if I want, I can also move myself around on the screen because that's that's the capability of OBS. Woo. <laughs> so that's uh, that's something that you can do in OBS in case you have um, if if you know how to use it. And I will show you how to actually use it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you head over to YouTube and just type in OBS green green screen tutorial there is a, a video from that I suggest that I watched and this is from Tim Verdau and this is um, a Groovester he has uh, he's one of uh, one of the top affiliates for Groove and uh, he taught me through this video it's a 20 minute video I just went in step by step and learned how to actually create all these uh, OBS scenes how to put in my my camera how to put in my audio and things like that so I just followed this video to be honest just type in OBS green screen find team Verdau I haven't seen any other video I just saw this one I managed to set it up and I was finished with it um, and that's it you can do with any kind of green cloth basically it works with blue cloth as well just you can buy these very very cheap on on Amazon or anywhere online um, I bought it from a local business but then I, I didn't like it really, so I purchased something that is um, that is more advanced. It's a basically a, it's a pop up banner type of thing. It's called Elgato Green Screen. Not sure if you heard me. I turned away. It's called Elgato Green Screen. It's a green screen that you can you can bring up as a as a pop up banner, um, not a digital pop up banner, but as a. Um, Elgato green screen. It's a, it's something like this, and it you basically uh, drag it up or drag it down, and basically it stays on the place. Um, it's pretty pretty narrow, uh, so if you if you have a lot of space, you may need to have a little bit more. Like for example, if I'm if I'm putting my hand outside, it's not it's basically very narrow. Um, so I wouldn't suggest it if you have a lot of space in your room, in your house. It's very cool in case you just need need a background for your desk like that. But you could use also any kind of green cloth, really. Um, I, did a, I did a live stream recently in a, in a room where there was only um, a wall that was painted green. And it was not even pure green. It was kind of a... a bright white slash green it was almost white and it was working beautifully there as well please tell us how we can connect how we can use groovemail with landing page made with groove pages 
um, you go to GrooveMail, create a form. You can take that form, embed it on your landing page, and basically that's it. Um, you could also, in Groove pages, use um, a Groove Mail element. You drag it out on the canvas, and you can use that. Hi, David. Hi, David Lemon. I appreciate you, friend. I made an affiliate sale, but how or where do I receive payment from Groove? Velo, very good question. Um, I see you posted your question two times. No worries. Um, I'm just going to show you where you need to make sure that you added in all your settings. So let's just go into Groove dashboard and uh, let's just go from beginning. You log into your Groove account and you head over to this uh, G logo on top. You hover over apps and you go into Groove affiliate. In Groove affiliate, there is one place where you need to definitely go and make sure that you set up is your settings payment okay payment is where you add in your paypal account if you want to pay uh, get paid through paypal or a wire if you would like to put in uh, if you would like to get paid through wire transfer some people use wise uh wise for payment it was called transfer wise it basically allows you to have uh have an online bank with with very cheap transaction uh, transaction fees, and you get a you get a debit card as well, and you can start using it. I have basically a Wise for personal Wise account and a business Wise account, and I use that. This is what I set up. Uh, <laughs> it's green, so it's it's actually transparent in the video. Um, and I also have a business business Wise account. It's green blue. Um, so I use that for affiliate affiliate endeavors. It's cheaper, and um, whenever you get a transfer over to this one, it's it's less expensive to to forward that money over to 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 your account maybe, or just to use it from that debit card. So that's one of the things that you definitely need to uh, fill out. I suggest wire if you're uh, if you don't want to pay the PayPal fees. PayPal in Europe charges a lot of fees uh, just to get your money. Uh, in other countries, it may be different, and that's why I'm using WISE. Um, and the next thing you need to fill out is your tax information. So tax ID, would it be would it be anything that you have in related, related to your company or your personal, uh, if you don't have a registered business, your personal ID or social security or something that is basically um, your number that, that, that you can use uh, for tax purposes. In different countries, they call this number differently. That's why we just put in tax info, tax ID, a number or uh, some information that connects you with the actual um, actual um, taxes in your country. And these are the two things that you definitely need to have in order to get paid. Once you do this, it takes um, GrooveJV.com. It takes two valid sales in order to get paid uh, on your account. So in case you go to GrooveJV.com, and here is Tim Verdau. I showed you his video earlier. Um, here in the in the rules and affiliate terms and conditions, uh, it says your commissions are released after 37 days. So 30 days plus a seven day buffer period to handle refunds in support. You can expect to be paid on average between 37 day and 40 uh, 42nd day from when the sale is made. So once you receive a notification in your email, you made a sale. This is the this is how much it needs to pass until you get your your payment. Also, you need to make sure that you have two valid sales in order to do that. Let me just see where that information is. Uh, some of our sales start with free trial. In that case, you will see a sale going up, but commission is zero. When a trial period ends, okay, affiliate payments occur weekly. Your commissions are released that day. You can expect your commission paid on average. Okay, so that was mentioned. Um, let's just see, where is the actual mention of two sales? Anyway, it's a bunch of, bunch of uh, 
a text on here that you definitely need to read. This is just basically understanding the the game if you are promoting. Just uh, yeah, just read through this one in case you need any help. You can join the Groove JV group, or you can also contact uh, Joe Joe Jablonski Joe at GrooveDigital.com in case you need any help with anything uh, related to affiliate. But yeah, just read through those uh, through this. Um, I didn't. Um, I didn't read through very carefully, so I I don't see that quickly. But you need to have two valid sales. Uh, anyway, in order to do that, is it obvious? Um, thought it's Streamyard. Thanks for clarifying, you the man. Um, Chris, I use Streamyard. Streamyard is the platform that allows me to go live in multiple places but where what i do is i use obs to manage the the feed the the video and how it how it appears when i share my screen would it appear like this would it appear like this would it appear like this would it appear differently so you can set up these screens in obs and just switch through you just use uh, Streamyard to actually broadcast that uh that stream <laughs> Tyra is saying, David Lemon, you're naturally cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm searching for promo materials, banners, pictures of grooves in CM in the software. I can't find it anymore. Um, oh, yeah, very cool thing that I forgot to mention. In regards to promotions of the actual uh, Groove JV, if you go to Groove, um, so let me just answer this question first. So, in case you're looking for banners and things to promote, Go to GrooveJV.com, and here you can see swipes, you can see articles, banners, uh, which are all pre-made here. You can just copy-paste them on your account. All of these already have your affiliate link ad attached to it, so whenever you embed that on, um, on a page somewhere, it's going to uh, be tied in directly to your affiliate link. So here in the promo tools on GrooveJV.com, um, you can have the social media posts are already pre-written here for you for Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. Um, we have swipes. So we have a couple of different emails with uh, some emails having multiple subject lines so that you can you can just use whichever you prefer. But uh, once you've gone through this ones, go to groovejv.tools. Okay, groovejv.tools. GrooveJV.tools is a site where we um, give you more information about this affiliate launch uh, itself. And here you can see um, you can see the last chance price increase August. This is the link you would need to use in order to promote uh, promote the link. So let's just see. Um, yeah, so that's basically the the switch for for the link in here copy paste and that's the that's the page that shows up it's basically our funnel where people can uh, can join and uh, register but what you're looking for is the is the different promo tools that will be added and this is going to be for um oh yeah here we have a press release for for the announcing of the platinum increase and things like that. So go through these and, and see what we have provided. More uh, Every day we are working more and more on, on filling this up with launch-related affiliate, uh, affiliate tools. So this is for the launch, GrooveJV.tools. In case you're just looking for generic uh, tools to promote Groove, then you go to GrooveJV.com and then scroll down to the promotion tools and then you have that section here. Um, Okie dokie, let's just see what we have next. I purchased ConvertBox recently to work with Groove since it has some nice pop-up features. I love ConvertBox. It's pretty pricey, but it's it's great in features. I'm wondering if it's actually needed. What are Groove's plans for pop-up boxes? Um, so, Stephanie, we will never have as good pop-ups as ConvertBox. ConvertBox is a full-on company that only focuses on pop-ups, and they do it really well. So if you have it, that's good and use it definitely. We have pop-ups at this moment only in Groove pages. Earlier in this video today, I I talked about the future of pop-ups. We're going to bring it out and allow 
connections to all apps like Groove Blog, Groove Member, Groove Cart, and things like that. Um, also, uh, um, making more modifications in terms of design and, and and integrations. That's also coming, but we will never have. I cannot say never, but we will we will need a lot of time in order to to be as good as convert boxes. So you did a great job in selecting convert box. I'm not an affiliate. I'm not promoting. I just use them and I know what they can do. So um, if you are using pop-ups a lot, that that will help you uh, convert box. You can just put pop-ups on every platform that we have really right now. Um, not only Groove Pages, which is the inbuilt functionality. The more time passes, the more uh, features we will have in terms of pop-ups as well. But at this moment, we only have it for Groove Pages. Can you tell me why is there a delay in commission payouts more than 50 to 60 days? I cannot figure uh, you would need to reach out to the affiliate managers. That's what the, what the conditions are. If there is a delay, there may be something that uh, that is related to to refunds or, or something just reach out to joe and have a look uh, on groovejv.com you can find his information and you can just reach out to him there okay so ladies and gentlemen we reached the uh, almost two hours mark of this uh, q a i hope i answered uh, a lot of your questions if you have any more questions, you can uh, just ask them in the Facebook group. If this is more a technical question that you have a specific problem on a specific page, for example, please reach out to support. Open a ticket on support.groovedigital.com and then we can have a look into it. Um, other way, uh, otherwise, we're going to do um, uh, a new Q&A on Tuesday, which is just in a couple of days. This is going to be Tuesday the 10th. Of August. So if you would like to ask me directly some questions, feel free to jump in and ask there. So hope you enjoyed this QA session number four zero. This is the 40th lemonade this year, and it's been great. I wish you a pleasant rest of the week and a beautiful weekend, and hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.